Running out right now at the state capitol, tomorrow is the last day of the legislative session. A priority this year was expanding paid sick time, and that passed the Senate last night. Today, the focus is spending pandemic relief money. Our chief political reporter, Susan Raff, is live for us right now tonight. She is at the state capitol with the very latest here. Susan. Mark, the clock is ticking. A big priority, though, this legislative session was expanding the state's paid sick time. Connecticut already has it. This would expand it, although there was some pushback this year, but it did pass the Senate late last night. What they're doing today is they're deciding how to spend all the leftover pandemic relief money and improving care for the elderly. Connecticut already has paid sick time. This year, lawmakers have expanded it. The bill that passed the Senate late Monday after a lengthy debate requires all companies to offer 40 hours of paid sick time. Every person in Connecticut that's working deserves paid sick days. We know that. We know from the pandemic how important it was for people to be able to stay home. It will be phased in over three years, depending on the number of employees. Some small companies are against it, saying it's another example of government telling them how to run their business. Currently, companies with 50 or more employees must offer 40 hours. Connecticut still has about $350 million left in federal pandemic relief money, which must be spent by the end of this year. A big chunk of that money will go to Yukon and the state colleges. Nonprofits will also get some of it, along with mental health services and child care. A much smaller amount will go to K through 12 education. We're doing a lot for the higher eds, but we're not doing enough for education. We have an $80 million shortfall in excess cost, and that is millions of dollars in some towns. Another priority was helping aging residents. New legislation will help provide more training and make it easier to make the choice that's right for them. We do have an aging population and overwhelmingly the data and the results have been that people want to stay in their homes. What isn't going to make it in these final hours? Artificial intelligence. There was a bill that passed the Senate to kind of regulate it, especially since it is so complicated. However, the governor felt it was anti-competitive, and it looks like that bill is going to die. Democrats and Republicans are also planning to put some final touches on the budget. Democratic leaders say it is balanced, but Republicans feel it has too much spending. We are live at the state capitol, Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.